Hello and welcome to the Wee Wee Blog Swiss National Final Preview video. This is Chris calling in from London for WeeWeeBlogs.com and we are so excited here at Wee Wee Blogs for the Grosse Entscheidung show that we just had to give you all the rundown ahead of tonight's final. Now after months of anticipation where we were yearning for Kitty Brocknell, watching the same stars as our Bracia, And whatever the hell Konnichiwa Panda was, we are left with just six acts left in the final. Now over the past month we have been running interviews with all six acts, we have been running the Wee Wee Jury for Switzerland, and we've also been asking you for your opinion in our readers poll. So, just who are the six acts left and what do we know about them? First up is Deborah Bow with her song, Take Me Back to 23. <laughs> Now Deborah was selected through the Swiss Italian broadcaster and is the only act left in the competition from that particular broadcaster selection. Keep in mind that both Simplus and Sabalta came through the same Swiss Italian broadcaster, so there is a very good chance that she might pick up some support from that area. In our interview with her, Deborah talks about living in New York and how it would either make you or break you. She also says that moving back to Switzerland and going back to university was the inspiration behind the song. In the Wee Wee Jury, Deborah finished a very respectable third place with a good score of 6.1 out of 10 from the Wee Wee Jury, whilst in the Reader's Poll she finished a very competitive fifth place. Next up are the band Time Bell, the hot favourites for the competition, who are performing Singing About Love. I wake up singing my love. This six-piece band are made up of musicians from four different countries all around Europe, although they now all live in Switzerland, with the exception of lead singer Maruna, who still lives in Romania. They established themselves as the favourites to win Die Grosse Entscheidung show after they won both the Wee Wee Jury and the Reader's Poll by some margin. In the interview we conducted with them, band members Samuel and Maruna said that they just want to concentrate on their own performance and that they're in a competition with themselves, not with the other acts. They've certainly got a lot of support, but some of our readers disagree. Ia Spag says, not a big fan of any of them, TBH. Time Bell is by far the worst of the bunch, though. But, on the other hand, you have Marco, who says, Time Bell must win. They have the most energetic song from the selection, the voice is amazing, and I'm sure they could make a great show. The third act we're going to talk about now is Andy McShawn, the only solo male artist left in the competition who is going to be performing his song, Hey Now. Unfortunately for Andy, he hasn't been picking up a lot of support on his way to the final, having come in last with both the Wee Wee Jury and in our readers' poll. Part of that may be due to the fact that his song Hey Now isn't really in the usual ESC mould. However, the instrumental focus in his song is kind of similar to what Sabalta was doing last year, so it's not all doomed yet for Andy. Andy also laid out why he submitted a song like Hey Now in the first place in our interview. He wants to create a song that has the power to start the crowd moving, clapping, or singing along. It certainly has that anthemic feel about it, and if the audience get behind it live at the final, this could cause a huge shock in the ESC community. On to Melanie Renee, the first of the two Swiss-French broadcasters acts who have now made it into the final. Melanie will be performing her own song, Time to Shine. Shine. 
An oddly dark and brooding song with a positive message, Time to Shine certainly seems to have struck a chord with our readers, who voted it into second place in the poll. Stephanie says that this is still my favourite. Given some good performances on Saturday, I think Melanie can beat Time Bell. The Wee Wee Jury was slightly more split though, giving Melanie a still respectable 5.7 out of 10, but that was only enough for fourth place in the running. Now there were a lot of polarising scores here, with people either seeming to really enjoy Time to Shine, or they hated it. And a lot of comparisons were also made to the likes of Lord or Sia. Now obviously that means that it's probably one of the more contemporary songs in the running, however, the fact of whether or not it's actually right for ESC is going to be in the hands of the Swiss voters. The second act from the Swiss-French broadcaster is probably also in the running for Happiest Woman in Switzerland. Lucia Sherry is going to be performing her song, Fly. Now, Lucia won a lot of the team over at Wee Blogs with the cheeky video message that she sent in along with her interview. That came through in her interview too, where she said that she's addicted to trying to draw a smile from people and that she screamed when she found out that she had made it to the final. All in all, the Wee Wee jury were run over and put her as the nearest contender to Time Bell. However, she only finished in fourth place in our readers' poll. Lysia certainly seems to be able to fill a stage and has the enthusiasm to get everybody clapping along, including the judges in the expert check performance. If she can recreate that, then Lysia might be the underdog in this final. Finally, and by no means least, we have Tiziana, who is possibly the biggest name left in the competition, performing her song, Only Human. We're only human, we're only human, we're only human, after all, after all, we're only human. Now the reason why Tiziana is the biggest name is the fact that she is the reigning voice of Switzerland, having won the competition at the start of 2014. Since then, she's kept her public profile high, having performed at award ceremonies, and she has also released her debut album. In our interview, she said that her coach on the show, Mark Sway, told her to just go on stage and do what you have to do. Advice she'll be using at the final. Tiziana says that only human is about not being perfect, and that as humans, we are allowed to make mistakes. Certainly the Wee Wee jury thought that about the song, ranking it in a low fifth place, although they commented that Tiziana's voice did still shine through, despite the limitations of the song. The readers, on the other hand, voted it into third place in our poll, so there is clearly some public support for the song, and keep in mind that the Swiss voters will probably remember her quite well from the voice, so she will have a large part of their support too. There are your six acts for tonight's final. If you couldn't already tell, predicting an act to win out of this group is going to be quite difficult, as even though Time Bomb might seem to be the favourites going in, there can be a case made for all six acts to qualify. Ultimately, it's now in the hands of the Swiss voters to decide who they think is best to represent the country in Vienna. And with a good draw in the second half of the second semi-final, there is a real chance that Switzerland will once again be in the grand final on Saturday night. For now, enjoy the show, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.